In this video trailer, we're gonna look at hindsight bias. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a warm welcome to you. All right, so what is hindsight bias and how can we improve upon it as traders? So generally speaking, hindsight bias is this. It's something where you say, I always knew that would happen. Whether it's something you actually traded or whether it's something that you didn't trade but you knew was gonna happen or you claim you knew was gonna happen. Listen, we can look at financial crisis, we can look at the kind of dot-com bubble burst, we can look at the Bitcoin bubble burst, we can look at all these kind of things and everyone comes out and says, I knew that was gonna happen. Even on the intraday basis, guys, when we have these massive rallies or massive falls in the market intraday, someone says, I knew that was gonna happen. And the problem you have with that is that you don't give yourself an opportunity to learn. If you say to yourself, if you're always saying, hey, I knew that was gonna happen and I'm just gonna, I'm just so great, which is kind of what you're doing, you're massaging your own ego and everything. What you end up doing is you end up moving on to the next thing without looking back and saying, well, did I really know it was gonna happen? Did I really capitalize on that in the way I should? Now, there's two things. One is I always knew it was gonna happen. Well, if you did, then why didn't you place the trade? Why didn't you at least express it in some form of trade? The other one is, okay, I knew it was gonna happen, I placed a trade, I made money. Well, if that's the case, you need to go back and look at every single minute detail that gave you the signal to suggest that was always gonna happen. Because let's be honest, the fact that it did happen, you made money out of it, means that you were ahead of the crowd with that. Other people hadn't seen it coming and you had. If you can look and decide what signals you interpreted as weak or as strong, whichever way you're looking at it, and then you made a trade accordingly, you can then improve on that as you go forward. Because the point is, guys, if you just go, yeah, I knew it was gonna happen, and you walk on and move on, then how are you gonna be, you could put, it could be luck, which is what the whole, this whole hindsight bias is all about, but assuming it is some skill, how can you build on that skill? And how can you make more money in the future by getting on top of these opportunities that other people are missing? What clues were there that really made your gut or whatever analysis you do go, you know what, that's time for me to press this on the short side or to press it on the long side. So we don't learn because we always knew, the hindsight of us always knew it was gonna happen and we don't learn and we move on to the next thing and all we do is we keep repeating, 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 whether that is for the worse or for the better, but not quite improving at the level we should. All right, so how do we improve this? The other first thing, as we do with all these biases and all these overconfidence biases, we document our decision-making process. It's very important that we put down the actual parameters and variables that we were looking at before we decided to make the decision. If we do that, then we can look at them and objectively and go, okay, this is what I looked at, this is why I made that decision, this is why I decided to do what I was going to do, and then you can put it all together, compile it, and then you can see some kind of pattern or something to improve or something to remove completely. The other thing is objectively assessing outcomes. Listen, we know it feels good right to be right. We feels, it feels good to be correct. And that can be our worst enemy in the market. It feels bad to be wrong too. So if you make a great trade or a great call, so to speak, you make some money off it, it feels good, right? You think I'm doing my job as a trader and you want to kind of reinforce that. But it's important whether you're sitting on the side of I've made a good money and made a good job or I haven't made good money, I've made a bad job to objectively assess the outcome based on the decision-making process you made. So you look through and just say, hey, was this a setup I had? What was it that made me make this investment or trading decision? How did I come to that conclusion? How did I express that in the market? In other words, what type of trade did I do? What type of risk management did I have in place? Where are my scales? Where are my exits? Where are my entries? All that kind of stuff. And then what actually happened? How did the market pan out relative to what I thought it was? Because very unlikely it's exactly as you thought it was. Maybe it took longer. Maybe it went there quicker. Maybe it was very close to your stop loss. What was it that made that happen? Because then we're not using the hindsight bias of saying, I always knew it was going to happen. It's like, how can I improve? on my process so that next time something happens, I can be better aware of it, I can be better at spotting it, and I can be better at trading it, and I can maximize the return on my risk that I'm putting into it when I spot it. So hindsight bias, guys, does seem to be fairly kind of benign, but actually when you dig into it, it's pretty dangerous because if you're always saying, I always knew that was gonna happen, I always knew it was gonna happen, you've got no opportunity to learn and improve, which is what trading and investing is all about. All right, guys, take care. Whatever you're doing, keep your risk managed. Goodbye.